Have you ever wanted to have your own accountant but don't have the money to pay for one or just don't want to? In today's video I'm going to show you how to make an AI agent in N8N that can track your finances, track your purchases, track your income and gives you a nice little total every time you make a purchase as well. So to show you an example of what it looks like I've got the bot here and all I need to do is either send it a voice message or send it a text message and it will like process the data and it will actually reply with how much I've spent on what where it was and like give us a total back so spend five pound at the shop for food literally all you need to say is that and then it'll go through we'll execute the workflow watch it go through it'll know it's a voice it'll go through to the agent go to the sheets append it to the sheets then it's going to actually read the sheets back once it's finished it's going to read the sheets uh process the data and then give us back a text message saying you spend five pound at the shop to purchase food in total you've spent 25 pound today because i've also done some other purchases today so i'm going to show you how to make that right now all we need to do first of all is to start a new workflow so we'll start a new workflow quickly make sure that's saved start a new workflow and then what we're going to do is we're going to add a trigger so telegram we're going to add a telegram on message trigger here boom now you need to link it to your telegram first of all you need to link it to the bot account that you're going to message so you want to click this little uh, drop down quick create new credential you're going to need an access token and um, to get this all you need to do is go to telegram and then you want to send this bot father a message so just in this search bar type in bot father and find the one with three million monthly users and you just want to send it a message saying slash new bot that's all you need to send it so we'll do it right now just to show you slash new bot what we're going to call it right we need to give it a name so let's go uh accountant bot now we need to give it a username so this username has to be unique it can't be a one that you've used before and it can't be one someone else has used so we're just going to go ai agent accountant bot no uh 12853 underscore bot it always has to end with underscore bot but then once you've done that it's going to give you a token here so we're just going to copy that token put it in the access token bit and then it's also going to give her a, um, a link to actually message the bot so first of all we want to save this once you've saved it, it's going to test it and then it should go green at the top here once it's all like all sorted and done. What we're going to do is we're quickly going to execute workflow. It's going to wait for a trigger. It's going to go to the bot, press the start button. It's going to do slash start, which comes through as a message. So we'll go on here. We can see that the trigger is outputting like the message that we've just sent, which is slash start. Um, so that's all we need really to start. Next, we're going to add a switch because we need to determine whether the message that we send it is going to be a voice message or a text message. So in this switch, we need to add two rules, one for voice, one for text. So we're first of all, going to do the text one. So we're going to do if value one is um, text here. So we've got the input from the telegram trigger. If you don't see anything here, just execute the workflow and then you'll see it there. Change is equal to to string and then exists. And then we're going to output the out change the output name to text and then we're going to add another root and rule here and then we're going to need a voice message so we need to execute the workflow one more time so we'll quickly execute workflow go to telegram send a voice message blah, 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 blah. send a voice message and um, go back to your switch and then we need to go here on the left side now you'll see a voice and then you'll see a file id you want to drag that file id in there change this to string exists and then we're all done with that we just need to rename the output to voice once we're done with that, we can move on to the next bit, which is processing. And we can either choose to process the voice or the text first. I'm going to do the voice just because it's a little bit more complicated. So the first thing we need to do with the voice file is we need, we need to actually get the file from Telegram. So get the audio recording, basically. So you just want to put in here Telegram and then get a file. Boom. Put that in. It's going to go straight in. Your, your credentials should already be linked from when you just did it there. These should say file and get, which is fine. And then you need the file ID, which is what we did on the last step. So you get this file ID, put it in there. Oh, get this file ID, put it in there. And then we're done with that. Now we need to actually understand what's being said in the voice file. So we need to go here and we'll go type in open AI like that. And then we need transcribe, transcribe a recording. Boom. Make sure now you need to link your open AI credentials. So what you want to do is click create new credentials. And um, it's going to ask for an API key. To get this, if you don't know how to get there, you just want to click the open docs button. Then you want to scroll down a little bit, it'll say API keys. Just click on that. Make sure you're signed in to open a open AI. Um in the top right, it should say that you you're signed in. If you're not, then sign in. You can just use the same credentials you use for chat GPT, not an issue. And then you want to click this create new secret key button. Um it's gonna ask for a name, give it a name, press that button there. You'll have a nice little code to copy. 
copy that into there and then you're all set with that now you don't need to change anything else within this everything else is all good how it is so once we've done with that now we can process the text so for the text you want to click on this text branch click on this plus and um, type in edit fields edit fields there the set one now we need to actually get an input to, to edit so we need to test the workflow again just to get a text input the test workflow just put test boom you see it's gone to the text um text side of things because we'll process the text on the switch now within this edit fields you just want to click here in this big box in the name you just want to put text and then string and then the value is going to be the text that you sent the bot so there oh there now we're done with that, that's all we need to do. So now that we've processed both the text and the voice, we just need to put the AI agent in there that's going to do all the work for us. So click the little plus, type in AI agent, AI agent, boom. And then where it says connected chat trigger mode, change this to define below. And then the prompt, I'm going to show you what to put in the prompt in a second. Um, but just leave it at it like that for now. Now we're going to put a chat model in, we're going to put open AI. Um, just because I like to use the chat GPT models when you come into this open AI chat model side of things like the configuration It's going to already have your credentials linked because you linked it in the last step uh, For the transcribe so that should already be linked for you If it's not just do the same thing you did for the other one and it'll do that It'll do that then you want to add a, um, a model. I like to do 4.1 mini doesn't really matter what you use um, the earlier ones are going to be better for for like cheapness, but they're also going to be worse So I like to use 4.1 mini just because it works and it's quite cheap so that's all you need to do for that leave that there and um, make sure this is connected as well by the way to your agent now we're going to add some memory to the agent just so we can remember the last few messages that you've sent and um, change this connected chat trigger mode again to define below and then for the key you want to go to your telegram trigger scroll down until you see chat and then id put that in there that's going to remember the last five messages in chat the number that's here is how many messages it remembers so if you want to change it to be more then you can now the next thing we're going to add this bit's a little bit complicated so if you struggle to follow along make sure that you are focused for this next bit just so you can get it all right so you want to click on the tool bit here type in sheets this is where we'll link the google sheets to be able to actually like to be able to actually append rows to the to the data so when you go to configure your google sheets account all you're going to need is a client id and a client secret to get this we're going to click the open docs button up here which brings you to the NAN docs. This is great for if you're struggling to get like figure out how to get API keys because it tells you literally in steps all you need to do. So we're going to go to set up, uh, set up OAuth. Click on here. Click on create Google uh, project. Boom. Click that. It's going to take you to Google Cloud. Make sure you're logged into Google and make sure you have a project up here. If you don't, then create one. And then you want to go into this search bar. Type in Google Sheets. Google Sheets API will come up. Click on the first one. Where it says manage here, it'll say like add this or something, or like use this. Click on the button there basically. It'll take a couple of seconds, then it'll say manage now and it'll say API enabled, and that's all you need to do there. Once you've enabled the Google Sheets API, you just want to click this little hamburger icon, click on APIs and services, and then OAuth consent screen. And then I can't do it because I've already created one, but it, there'll be a button that says create OAuth consent screen. Click that, follow the steps. Oh, follow the steps it's very very easy once you've created the content screen you want to click the hamburger icon again go to apis and services click on credentials and then this is where you will create a, um, client ids so if you don't have anything here click create credentials a auth client id and then it'll ask you for a um, application type you want to click web make a name for it now for this authorized redirect uh, uris you want to click on the button that says add uri Go back to uh, NAN and it'll have a little link here. Uh, get that, copy that, take that across and just paste it in there. All you need to do, that's all you need to do. And then click create. This might break because I've already got one. Yeah, okay. Created one. Now inside of that, you want to create an API key. So click onto that again. And then you'll have a client ID here, which is what you need to paste into the client ID. Then if you go back again, you'll have a client secret here and there'll be a little copy button there. Copy that put it into the client secret boom and then down at the bottom here once you've done all that it'll ask you to log in just log in boom you sorted it'll test it it'll work boom that's not going to work because i haven't fucking put any details in so now once we've done that we need to configure this operation to be append uh, row there it is once we've set it to append row we need to actually have a document for it to be able to edit so you want to go to google sheets now so we're just going to quickly go to google sheets so here we have the google sheets that i've made for this project and um, it's very very basic all you need to have is the amount the currency the category notes type of purchase and date 
that's all you need to put there so once we go once we have that sheet we want to go here to where it says choose um click on this click on the one that you've named it and then from the sheet you want to choose the actual uh, sheet in the document and then we're, with all these different options here it's going to ask you what you want to put in them um, just let the AI do the work for you. Boom, 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 boom. That just makes sure that the AI model will actually define what's in them boxes. So now that we've given the AI agent a Google Sheets tool to use, we need to actually give it a system prompt. So as you can see, I've got the prompt in here. Um, I'm not going to expect you to sit and pause and type all of this out. What you need to do, right, is I'll leave it where it is right now. Take a little screenshot of the screen right this second. I'll, leave, I'll wait for you. Boom, once you've done that, we'll scroll down a little bit and then take another screenshot right now. I'll wait for you, you can pause the video if you want. And then finally for the last little bit, take a screenshot of that as well. And then you just want to put these screenshots into ChatGPT and tell it to like basically tell you what it says in the screenshots. And then you'll get all the text that I've used here and then you can just copy and paste that into your system prompt and that's all you need to do for that. With the stage that we're at right now, we've got a basic financial tracker already made. Like we could put a telegram send a message trigger on the end of it. Um, not trigger, but telegram, telegram send a message at the end of it. And this will take your input, it'll output how much you've just spent and it'll add it to the sheets. But we're going to take it one step further by getting a daily total just to give you a little daily total at the end of it of how much you've spent today. So to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to need to add another Google Sheets. So we're going to go to Sheets, boom, and then we're going to get, get a row. There it is, Get Rows in Sheet. Now, it'll already have the credential linked because you've just done it. That's the great thing about NAN. You don't need to go through that whole process of getting the uh, the client ID and stuff like that. So that's already connected. Get the sheet within document, Get Rows, and then you need to select the file again. So select your finances, and then you want to select the sheet. And then now this is where we decide, decipher what like rows it's actually going to pull so you want to click add filter and then in this filter you want to change the column to date now for the value we're going to add a little bit of json here but it's not very complicated you're just going to get today's date which is that um again you can take a screenshot put it in a chat gpt and get it to tell you what it says or you can just add chat, ask chat gpt to get your json to get today's date but works the same way we're going to add another filter as well and make sure the combine filters are on and now this is going to exp uh, track for expenses, so you want to change the type here and make sure it says expense in lowercase letters like that. And now it's going to find everything with today's day with the type of expense, just in case you get paid. You don't want to add that to your total spend today, do you? Now once we're done with that, we're going to need to use everybody's worst nightmare and that's a code module. So you want to click plus, go to code, boom, code, add a code module, put that in. Um, I'm just going to paste the one that I had from the other workflow like that. Now inside of this code module, it's going to be a little bit of code. It's not very crazy. It's not a lot, but there's a little bit of code. And this is just going to return the total of amount spent today. Um, you can take a screenshot, put it in a chat GPT again. That'll get the exact like things that I've typed just so you don't need to type it out yourself. But just put that into your code module and then you're pretty much done. Now we just need to add the Telegram message back. The Telegram send, send a message, send a text message. There it is. Once you've added the Telegram send a message node, the credentials will already be linked from the first step. All we need to put in is the chat ID and the text message that it's going to send you. So if you want, you can just copy what I've got here and it'll work for you if you have all the same names, which we haven't changed any names, so they'll all be the same. But just copy what I've put in these and this. So again, just take another screenshot, ask ChatGPT what the chat ID says and what the text is, and then put it into yours, and then you're basically done. Then we're ready to have an AI agent. So we'll press execute workflow, we'll test it one more time. So we'll test for workflow one more time just to make sure it's all well and good. Spent, spend 2,300 pound at Minecraft, boom. It's gonna go through, process it properly, add it to the sheets. It's gonna read the sheets, process that and give her a message back. Now we've spent that much today, boom. So if you've enjoyed this video, please drop a like and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.